Hello, and welcome to Tea Tuesday. I'm your host, Hot Mess. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so corny. Oh, hi, guys. So, a little bit of a life update, and then we'll get into Tea Tuesday. I'm sick, as you can tell. I'm beautiful. So pretty. Mm, yummy. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, uh, so yeah, this week has kind of sucked major balls, and that's partially why I have not uploaded in a hot minute. Well, the last week, um, my cousin passed away, uh, and it's been a pretty tough time not being able to be with my family back in the U.S. and not being able to be at the funeral and not being able to do anything basically to help my family um, in any way for this situation. Um, so, and he was, he was young, he was only 24. Um, complications to heart surgery um, for a disease that he had um, that runs in my family. Um, I don't have it, but a lot of my father's siblings have it, um, so. And it's genetic and stuff anyway. Um, but he passed away and it's been really kind of tough and I'm sick. Uh, so it's like one thing after another. Um, so yeah, um, that's why I didn't upload last week. Um, but I think my cousin enjoyed my vlogs. Like he, he told me, you know, oh, it's really interesting to see well, to hear because he was blind to hear like you know about your life and see what's going on um and things like that which you know that's why i do the vlog is so people can see what my life is like here um back home you know so um this is to him and to my family back home who's going through a rough time right now um i love you guys and i miss you and i'm sorry I'm sorry. Um, but let's get into it. Let's go on with the show, I guess, uh, as it were. Um, but this one's for my family and my cousin, Lincoln. Um, so I'm going to cry. I shouldn't cry. Okay, get it together. Today's Tea Tuesday is about being sick in Korea because I'm sick again. And I feel like I'm always sick. Teaching sucks sometimes. Because them kids grimy. Even in university, them kids grimy. Them kids, them kids, them kids get you sick. Anyway, you get sick um, from just the germs and stuff. And for some reason this, this year, I've just gotten like everything thrown at me all at the same time. Like I was sick a couple weeks ago. Um, but there are some benefits of being sick and some hard things about being sick. So I thought I'd talk to you about being sick in Korea. Um, so the good, the good about being sick, delivery food is amazing. I can get anything delivered. I can get, um, the rice porridge delivered. I can get anything I want delivered. And I do. I get it delivered. I have a problem. I, I wouldn't leave my house. Honestly, if I didn't have responsibilities, when I am sick, I would not leave my house. But adulting is hard. And you have to leave your house as an adult. So, you know, there's that. Is this as big as my head? No. Almost. Side note. Mug's almost as big as my head. Um, so delivery is nice, um, because you really, you don't have to leave your house if you don't want to. Um, and that's great when you're sick because who wants to leave, who wants to get out of their pajamas, right? 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 Not me. <laughs> um, so that's nice. Another thing that's nice is medical care. Um, going to the doctor is really inexpensive if you have the national health insurance, which I do because, um, I'm employed here. I pay taxes. I pay into the health system here. Um, so I am part of that system. 
Um, it's relatively inexpensive. You can get things for pretty cheap. You can get prescription medication for really inexpensive as well, um, depending on what it is. Some things are more expensive than others, um, but you can find things for relatively cheap here. Same with over-the-counter. Um, if you go to uh, Yak, um, yeah, it's it's Yak because it's the A. Um, it's a pharmacy. I think Yak means like pill or I think it means pill or medicine. I'm not, I'm, my brain is farting, but um, it definitely means like medicine, I think, or pill. And so you go there and you can get medicine. You can get over-the-counter medicine for cheap. You can get your prescription filled there. And, you know, they have basically everything. The only real difference is um, I've noticed that Korean medication, especially like painkillers and stuff, are one, super limited, and two, lower dosage than back home. So for instance, ibuprofen. I buy ibuprofen back home in the U.S. because it's higher strength than here in Korea, the stuff I can get here in Korea. So I'm taking less, but it's a higher strength than I would if I were to buy the stuff here in Korea. Um, same with cough medicine. They sell cough medicine here, but it's a lower dosage cough medicine than the stuff back home. So I just buy stuff. I stock up on those two things. Everything else, though, exactly the same. Um, I've never really, like, I go in and I tell them, a pharmacist, like, oh, I have a really sore throat. They will show me a couple drugs and be like, this will help with this, this will help with that, this will help with this. This helps with everything, but it's lower, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> so the pharmacists are really helpful. The doctors are always super helpful as well. University hospitals generally uh, have more English-speaking doctors um, than just like your normal rural um, hospitals, but I've never really come across any real, real big issues with doctors here. Um, or pharmacists. Sometimes pharmacists, it's a it's hit or miss, but doctors are definitely a lot more um, English friendly, which is a benefit when you're sick and you can't think of words in Korean because your brain is not even functioning properly in English. Trust me, I have problems and not, okay, anyway. Um, so yeah, medicine's really simple here. Delivery food is wonderful, so you don't have to get out of your pajamas. And then medicine is super nice and simple, convenient here as well. Um, the only thing is sometimes um, pharmacies are closed, so you have to like travel a bit to find a pharmacy that's open. But same way in the U.S., you know, some places are 24, some places are not. So that's a thing. Um, yeah, that's the good. The bad is, dun, 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 being an adult, literally being an adult. I want, all I want when I am sick, all I want is someone to take care of me. But I don't have that. My mom's not here. My dad's not here. My brothers aren't here. I have nobody to take care of me. It sucks. I have to adult. I have to take Trixie outside. I have to take her on walks. And I'm cold and I don't want to go outside. But I have to because I have a dog and I have responsibilities. I love her. That was my choice. I know. But it sucks. <laughs> I have to clean his poop, Robin's poop. I have to shower because I have a job and I have to go to it because I want to get paid. I didn't. Bleh. Why? Why is being an adult so hard? I just want somebody to take care of me when I'm sick. They should have a service for that. I'm going to make a service for somebody to take care of you when you're sick. Is there a service for that? There should be. I feel like I just... Okay, anyway. 
This is getting rambly. I'm sorry. Um, I love you guys. And hopefully next time you see me, I won't be sick and happier and not as hot messy as I look right now. Yeah. Love you. Bye.